Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I greet everyone in the name of God. Yes. I bring the word of God to you right from here to your comfort home. And uh, wherever this word of God might have, you know, we meet you. Yes. Anywhere this word of God would have met you, it's going to be your comfort area. Yes, that is your comfort area. Yes, good morning, everyone. Everyone, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. We're going to talk about humility, humility. But before we go into the message, let us embark in the journey of prayer. Father, we thank you. We give you all the honor and the glory and adoration for taking us to sleep and allow us to wake up peacefully without any calm. Applications. Thank you, Daddy, for the love you have for us. We appreciate that, and we cannot even ask for anything without appreciating your effort over our lives, over, over our household, for your divine protection, for being there for for the love, for the compassion you have for us. Not by mind, not by power, but by the Spirit, by your power, by the love, by your mercy that endures forever. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. We say a big thank you to you. We return the honor and the glory and adoration back to you. Father, I want to ask for forgiveness, whichever way that you might have seen to you, that my in that our messages, our prayers, Father, forgive us. Erase our sins away. Father, Lord, let the blood of Jesus that shed on the Calvary ah, be sufficient to wipe all our sins away. See us like your new babies, Lord. Ah, that spirit that derailed from sin, that hated sin so much. Father, endow us with that spirit, with that anointing that hated sin so much in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord, for being there for us. And you shall be there for us forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're going to talk about humility. But before then, we read our Bible. Our Bible verse is going to take from the uh, book of James. James 4. We start from verse 10 to verse 17. We are about. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another. Brethren, he that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother speaketh evil of the law and judgeth the law. Hmm. But if thou judge the law, Thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. You see, there is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Hallelujah. Who art thou that judges another? Go to now, ye that say, today or to tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? Hmm. It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now ye rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Hallelujah. This is really, really ah deep. It's a very deep prophetic word of God. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. You are welcome in the name of God. Yeah, the message this morning. I didn't see the name, but do not worry. I think you are all used to this uh, channel for not seeing the name. Maybe, maybe because the channel is still, you know, coming up. I don't know. I don't know. But for some reason, even it happens in uh, the other channel as well. So I don't think it's because of that. But for uh, well, the reason is best known to Facebook. Yeah, but uh, we're going to move on anyway. Yeah, the the word of God talks about humility, and it says that. Do not boast of tomorrow because when you boast of tomorrow, you don't know what tomorrow we give. That is the word of God. All you need to say is like this word of God says, oh, we are going tomorrow to the market to do selling, to do this, to do that and start boasting. But and the word of God says, why are you boasting of tomorrow? When you supposed to say, if God will. 
we will go we will go to the market tomorrow you're supposed to put if god will it means that you are not boasting but you put it in the hands of god that can decide and have the final say so it means that even god hates boastings god hates arrogancy because when you are boasting it's element of arrogancy and when you are being arrogant, there's no way they can find humility in you. Humility is far from you. Humility is attributes to everything that compile with the fear of God. With the way you speak, with the way you talk, with the way you see other people, with the way you relate with other people, with the way you see another person. Humility! Humility will allow you. Good morning, good morning. Even though I didn't see your name, do not worry. You are blessed. You do not come in vain. God can see you. He knows your desire. He will fix it for you. Yeah. Facebook is doing what they are doing. Elijah. Olaide. Charity Foundation. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, Saida. Sabiodu Abubaka. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me. You are all blessed. You did not come in vain. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Humility will take you far. Humility is what God says. He really appreciates. God recognizes humility so much. Humility will take you away from being so arrogant, from not knowing your mates. Good morning. Good morning. Elijah Charity Foundation. Foundation. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ma. I appreciate you. Good morning, Sahidat Abiodu Abu Bakar. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. By Lumida Milade Adesujo. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you, Ma. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you. Yeah, good morning, good morning. We come, we are in the we are in the word of God now. So we come to that later. By Lumida Milade, we are we are, you know, we are in the front of God now. Yes. We come to that later. Yeah, humility, humility We allow you to be so close to God. You will not be derailed from the word of God, from the love of God, from the way you see others, from the way you, from the way you treat others. Humility will allow you to do what God says you should do. Humility will allow you to appreciate everyone. Humility, humility is the key. Humility will open door for you because humility will allow you to stay away from arrogancy. Humility will allow you to see people that are even older than you to know how to treat them. Humility, humility will allow you not to put people down. Humility will allow you to go far because people will see it in you. When you don't, when you are, when you are not, humility will allow you to be so humble and people will see that element of humbleness in you because of the humility. Even God hates arrogancy. God loves humbleness. God loves humility. He says that do not boast of tomorrow. He even emphasized, he gave us the illustration in, the, in James 4.10. So 17, when you are reading it, you will see it. There are, you will see it there. It says, they are saying they are going to the market tomorrow. And they are boasting. They are going to, to the market tomorrow to go and sell. And when they will sell, they will, you know, they are just boasting of what they are going to do tomorrow. And God, and the word of God says, instead of them to say, if God will, if God will, then we will go to the market tomorrow. So it means that humility will allow you to remember that it's God that can allow you to do whatever you are doing. It is God that is pushing you, that is lifting you, that is making way for you. Where seems to be no way. It is God. It is it, because the humility will allow you to give what belongs to Kesari to Kesari. Humility will allow you to see the people that are even older than you to know the type of respect they deserve. Humility will not allow you to mash people on their head when they you are supposed to, 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 to respect them. 
Humility. And arrogancy is the root of destruction. And when it's, when it's always, when arrogancy is, is already all over the blood of the of individual, it is really bad. Because they will not see it. And the people with arrogancy, they love people to, 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 to deceive them. The moment you are ready to tell them the truth, that that journey, that path you are going, is a path of destruction. That is not the way to do things. I am telling you, you will be you know, their number one enemy. Because humility is not part of them. Humility will allow you to see your mistake. Even if you don't see it and someone else is correcting you, humility will allow you to know that yes, they are only correcting you. It's nothing to do with hatred. It's nothing to do with bringing you down, but they don't want you to fall. That is humility. Humility will explain it even better, more far than the people that are, that, that are correcting you. Humility will allow you to see it beyond how they are correcting you. That is humility. Humility is connected with God. There's no way you can appear and you can declare yourself as a child of God and humility is lack. Is you can't you are not a complete child of God. You are just say you might you might be going to church, you might be going to mosque, but if people cannot find humility in you, I am telling you, you are still you lack something, you lack something that we act we really connected you to God that symbolizes your characteristic of a child of God. Humility without humility, you cannot see declare yourself as a child of God. It is not possible because it is the people that are looking at you. It is the people that are seeing you. They are the one to see what you don't see. Humility will take you far. Humility will allow people to see what you don't see. Because when you have, when you, when you are so humble, you see it as part of you. You don't see it like you are doing something special. You see it as part of you because you are a child of God. It is part of what God recognizes. It's part of things. It is part of characteristics that God welcome that symbolizes a child of God. So you are doing the right here anyway. It's not a big deal to you. But for people who are seeing you from far, who are looking at you, I am telling you, it goes far for them. They could see that humility in you and they will, they, 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 they will recognize it. But when you don't, when you are, when you are not humble, when humility is out of you, arrogancy will step in. And when arrogancy steps in, that is why they always say that do not judge a book by its cover. Because people, they can tell you all oh, this, they can pretend because of for exactly what they want. Immediately they get that thing. That is the time you start to check their character. Don't check their character before. That is where I know that anybody can, anybody can be humble. You can have humility. But it is when you are actually in that level that you want. In, in that level you want. In that level that you have been anticipating to find yourself. When you level up, that is where people, people will know if you really humble. Because hey, when you find yourself in the position that you think that okay, it is you 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 have it all, forgetting about tomorrow. And God says, do not, do not, do not determine tomorrow. Let the tomorrow determine itself. You have to put God will anything you want to do, and you are you are referring to tomorrow. You have to say God if God will. So it means that God recognizes humility. It symbolizes the characteristic of a good child of God. Humility is the key. Whether you like it or not, whether we like it or not, humility is the key to see the, the, the eyes of God, to, 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 to allow God to even look at you. That element of humility must be reflected. In, uh, in your characteristic, it must be in your blood, whether you like, we like it or not. 
because, because it's part of the criteria God will look into. You are so arrogant, nobody can talk to you except people who are ready to deceive you. Except people who are, who, 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 because of whatever they will get from you, they are deceiving you. Because of whatever they will, see, you know, those ones are not telling you the truth. But the people that will tell you the truth, the people that will know that they don't have it, it doesn't matter. Even if they have been deceiving you, the moment they see that they cannot deceive you anymore, they want to tell you the truth. They can see that the route you are going is a route of destruction and you start to hate them. You only hate yourself. You only hate yourself because the truth shall prevail anyway. Whether you like it or not, the truth shall prevail. Humility is the key. You cannot change the word of God. It's in the word of God. He says, even when they are talking, they are talking with boastings. They boast too much. Even the word of God says it. Instead of them to say, if God will. But they are saying it like authoritatively that yes, we are going, you are doing this tomorrow. Da, 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 da. But they, 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 they remove God out of it. And God was even referring them to it. Instead of them to say, if God will. But they are boasting. You cannot judge. You, and they will be the one to judge you. They, they will be the, and before you do anything, they start to judge you. Because they lack humility. Humility is the key, whether we like it or not. To see the, the eyes of God, to be so close to God, yes, we need humility before it gets out of hands. When everything, everybody that come in contact with you, they could see that arrogance in you. No matter what they did for you, no matter how they like you, you will still drop yourself down. You will, they put you on the bed, you will drop from bed to ground. You will show yourself that you are, you are, you are, you don't belong to that. You are, you are just a grand level person. It's just that you are so unfortunate. You find yourself where you find yourself. You should be one of the ones that are struggling wherever you, wherever you are. This, there are some people like that. Because that's the only way they can be so humble. Immediately they find themselves level up. They everybody becomes their mates. And they don't care whom you are. They don't have respect for anybody. Oh, excuse me. You have a long way to go. That is a root of destruction. I am telling you. You better you better make a U-turn. You better sit down and think well. It doesn't matter. There's no one. There's no power that is above the power of God. When God says enough is enough. You will know that enough is enough. And people that are just just uh, deceiving you that any, everyone that are older than you, they, you will treat them like trash. You don't have respect for anybody. You lack humility. You lack humility God is talking about. And whether you like it or not, you will still reap your fruit. It's, you will reap it. You will reap it. It's a seed. You will reap it. That is why it's better to make a U-turn because anyone that tells you the truth and you know that if that particular thing, if anyone should do it to you, you won't like it. And the person that is telling you it is not good, that is the person that is telling you the truth. But the one that just leave it because they know that your body is far from the truth. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to go to that side. All you want to hear is just when you talk, they laugh. Of course, they are only deceiving you. But when destruction come upon that person, of course they will remember. They will know. They will know that that person just pull it upon him or herself because humility is the key. Anyone that's older than you is older than you. You have to respect them, and you have when you have humility. Oh, I am telling you, where well, you will give what belongs to Kesari to Kesari, no matter what. Anyone that says he cannot say sorry, I am telling you, it's a it's a root of destruction. It's 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 it's, it's high high disorder arrogancy. If you cannot say sorry, then it means that you have to watch your behavior. You have to, you have to be so close and connected to God and have the fear of God and let humility take everything you are doing. But in your own case, it's not like that. Arrogance is all over you. Arrogance, arrogance is reading all over you. And you will say you will not say sorry. I am telling you, you it's a root of destruction. Because anyone that's older than you is older than you. Even the Bible says it. We should respect 
our parents, even not only our parents, anyone that is older than us. So you cannot change the word of God because of you. The word of God cannot be changed. The word of God will stand till eternity. And God will prove himself when the time comes. Humility. Humility will allow you to, 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 to see the importance of another fellow. Humility will allow you to see the importance of another, another person like you. You will not see them like they are not important. You will not see them like they are trash. You will see the importance. You can see the value of them because humility is running on you. Humility is all over you. Humility it symbolizes your characteristic as a child of God that has the fear of God. Humility is the key. Thank you very much. It will not be longer than this. Thank you, everyone. Father, we thank you. We give you all the honor and the glory and adoration for being our means, for taking us through the journey of, the, of your message. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord, for being there for us. We ask for the spirit of humility, humility that will give us the way that we symbolize this is the, 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 the characteristic of a child of God. Father, Lord, endow us with that spirit of humility in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove arrogance out of every one of us. No arrogance. We don't need arrogance. Arrogance is the root of destruction. Anyone that is so arrogant, they have it in their blood. But probably they don't see it, or they see it, or they don't want to listen. They always believe that they, they are too much, right? Hey, oh, oh Lord, Father, Lord, that is a root. That is a that is element of a spirit of destruction. Father, remove it, remove it, remove it, and down every one of us with spirit of humility. Oh, let uh, let us be so humble where we are supposed to be humble. In the name of Jesus Christ, give us that spirit of humbleness, spirit of, spirit of humility that will allow us to see the importance of another fellow another human being in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, and that us with everything that we need to be able to be so much important in your sight that you, your, your, uh, your, your, your eyes will be with us and we take our matters, your agenda. Oh, Father Lord, and that us with that spirit that will be so much to allow us to connect with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Humility is the key and that us with that spirit of humility in every area of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. We soak our messages in the powerful, precious blood of Jesus Christ. We cover our messages with the powerful, precious blood of Jesus Christ. We soak our children in the path of precious blood of Jesus Christ. We cover our children with the path of precious blood of Jesus Christ. We cover our children in the house with the path of precious blood of Jesus Christ. We, we soak our children in the house in the path of precious blood of Jesus Christ. We cover everything that our children touches with the path of precious blood of Jesus Christ. We soak everything that we touches with the path of precious blood of Jesus Christ. We soak every one of us in the path of precious blood of Jesus Christ. We cover every one of us with the path of precious blood of Jesus Christ. We soak our home, our household with the path of precious blood of Jesus Christ. We cover our home with the path of precious, precious blood of Jesus Christ. We cover everything that consigns us with the path of precious blood of Jesus Christ. We Bless our day with the path precious blood of Jesus Christ. Take all the honor, Lord. Take all the glory. Take all the adoration. Jesus over to you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Sahidas, Abiodu, Abubaka, you did not you did not come in vain. God in his infinite mercy, we see you true. We be with you. Whatever you need, whatever be your desire, every of the goodies you are expecting from him, he will drop peace in your palm. In the name of Jesus. Elijah, online day charity foundation. Thank you so much. You did not come in vain. God in his infinite mercy, we always be there for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, he will honor your desires. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Thank you. Ah, God, we honor your desire. God, in his infinite mercy, we open door for you. Make a way where seems to be no way. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will not lack. Everybody will not lack in the name of Jesus Christ. More abundance of blessings of God all over every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Thank you everyone for joining in. I appreciate every one of you. Have a wonderful, awesome, blessed day, every one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. But look me, I will send you, I will inbox you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye everyone. Have a wonderful, blessed, awesome day. You are all blessed. You're not coming vain. Bye for now.